model this cute character in Blender without sculpting. I know if you can make a character like this then it's very easy to add the armature to this and then make the animations. The animations can be made of any type like for the funny videos, for the kids cartoons and it becomes very easy. But first of all you have to model a thing and the modeling is a hard task. Let me make it very easy for you. I will be just using a cube for this. I will just shift A to add a cube. Why I am using a cube? Because it has less, less geometry to play with. And you can play with the camera anywhere. I have zoomed in. I will just move to the front view or I can press 0 and then I will be in the camera view. I will do one thing. I will just delete this cube and select all these things. I can do the A come on just A twice. Now I have selected the camera also. I will just deselect the camera. Now I will do what? Press M on the screen and then new collection. Call it Fox 1 and that's okay. Now here is the Fox 1. You can just hide it. Now we have nothing on the screen so I will just add a cube. Here is the cube. Yes we have a cube now. I can exit the camera by pressing 0 on the keyboard and by just pressing 1, 2 or just any view you like. I will just scale it down by pressing S. Now what I need to do is I need to convert this cube to a circle. For that I will be using a modifier. Here are the modifiers. Look for the subdivision surface and make it level, let's levels to then apply it. I will be asking you to apply the modifiers only then apply. Now what we need to do is it's fine. Now we have to go to the edit mode by pressing tab. Why we are going to why we are going to the edit mode because we need to do some changes in the geometry. Right now this thing we are seeing from the top. What we have to do is press one so we are seeing it from the front like this. What you have to do is now go to the x-ray mode. You can press Z then two four for the x-ray mode eight for the rendered view. These are the things these views. If you press Z then you are getting the options Z. So what we need is wireframe. Zoom in. I will just zoom in. Now what we have to do is delete one side of this cube. Okay. I will come over here. Then like this. Then press X and the faces. The dog is walking. No problem. Then apply the mirror modifier. Here is the mirror modifier. But do not apply it. Also take a subdivision surface. I am applying it again, like again. But do not apply these. Keep them over there only. Now what we have to do is go to the this mode and press tab. Now you see one side is like you can see the geometry on the other side it is not looking. Because if we are going to do one thing on this side the, uh, the other side will get that thing done automatically. Let's make the legs of this character. For that we need to select the bottom faces. One, two, Three, four. So now what you have to do is press I to do a little gap. If you are not, not doing the I, then the legs will be attached to each other that we do not want. Now we have to delete these faces. Press X faces. Now press this edge loop. These three things. This is vertices, edge, and faces. Then Click on this twice. Now it is selected. If it is not getting selected twice, then you have to do individually by pressing the shift. Now scale it down or do one thing. Press spacebar. If you have not enabled your spacebar to the search, then you can do it in the edit, then preferences. Then press spacebar. Look for two sphere. Now drag out. You see, it's becoming a perfect circle. That's fine. Now scale it down by pressing S. Yes. Mm, that that's fine now press one so we are seeing the things from the front then extrude to the z-axis you see things are happening on the both sides now you are seeing a problem like these things are not flat at the bottom so for that do s z zero that's good 
now we have to make the legs go to the three that is the front view and what you have to do is you have to select these vertices one and two so i will zoom in i need to select one and two then press three so we are looking at it from the side view then extrude e y this much is enough now you need to select this whole loop but these two will not be selected you have to do them individually by pressing the shift now press e then z twice so the extrusion is not happening like irregularly press f so that the gap at the bottom is filled you can leave that also because we are not going to show that but it is okay we have filled that now you are saying these streets are looking huge to fix that we have to press command r and bring it down you see that is getting adjusted i think that's fine now what we have to do now is we'll add one more r command r that is the this loop and put it in the center then press 3 so we are looking at the things from the side view then grab that is for z on the y-axis give a little bend to the legs so that it, they are looking very organic <coughs> we are done with this thing. we have to now work on the body we do not want a circular body so go to the added mode press this added mode by pressing tab press one so we are looking at the things from the front then press this vertices thing select this one at the top press o or press over here to enable the proportional editing now i will do one thing grab on the z axis or z axis you see its extrusion is not big enough for that what you have to do is increase the size over here proportional size i will make a one now if i grab on z axis i think that is not okay we need to make it six around 0 0.6 let's do it now grab on z axis or the z axis i think that is fine now we have to make the legs now but before that disable this proportional editing over here select these two faces one and two and press i to set it's okay then delete those faces you can add a circle it's up to you let's add the circle no problem i just selected the edge by uh, pressing twice clicking twice then shift to sphere drag out drag out drag out the circle has become now scale down s i think the smaller is better press one so we are looking at the things from the front then extrude to the z x axis you see four arms are there you see these arms are not regular they are like irregular press s x zero now that's fine and press f so we have filled the thing over there now you see there is a problem there's a huge geometry over here so for to fix that press command r then bring it closer now it's looking fine but also add one more loop so we have the bend when we bend the arm there should be some geometry already there like like we added to the legs we are done with the body now we can press the body then command a apply all modifiers now all the modifiers will be applied has this filled yes i will do one thing i will apply one more subdivision surface added more i did some mistake okay now i will press this as loop and press f yes now we are good because that was looking very flat that's not how left arms should be what i did i pressed the f to fill the gap that was not filled earlier now i can actually make it bigger by press s give it some sort of geometry i think that's fine now now we are done with the body press command a again apply all modifiers that's fine now now we have to work on the head i think i have not duplicated this thing not a problem i will just add a cube again scale it down 
apply the modifier i could have duplicated this to speed up the work but that's not a problem then grab it up to the z-axis then scale it on the x-axis so it's looking much like a thing like this head of a cartoon but go to the edit mode by pressing tab but before that apply this this modifier where is this modifier subdivision surface tool apply the modifier yes now go to the edit mode now you know what to do and then delete one side <coughs> x cases and come over here apply the mirror modifier that's fine give one more that is subdivision surface tool but do not apply them Okay, now go to whatever mode you want you can go to this or this i will just enable the edit mode zoom out and press the uh, forward slash or the question mark to like hide and unhide things now what we need to do we need to make the ears like the big ears for that you need to select these six faces why i'm selecting these six faces because that will give me a better geometry now press i to insert and you do not have to delete all the faces you just have to delete these four faces x faces they are deleted now select or click on this and then double tap so that this uh, edge loop is selected yes now scale on the y-axis i think that's looking fine now press one to see the things from the front view now extrude do not press the Z or the Z axis so that you can move them as you want. I think that should be enough. Now press F to fill those areas and press S to scale. If you want to make them smaller, larger, I think if it is a rabbit, then these will be nice. I can further grab them or extrude them. That will not be a good thing. I think. This is enough. <clears throat> now do one thing. Select these two faces. Press I. Do some in setting. Then press three. So you are looking from the side. Then extrude to the Y axis. This green axis coming off. Press one again. So you are seeing the things from the. Now you can apply the modifiers. You can do the sub shade smooth. Command A, apply all modifiers, and it's looking nice. Shade smooth this one also. Now we can give a color to these things over here. Let me give a color. Come over here, then new. Let's give some any any color that you like. Let's make it kind of yellowish, the foxy color. That this one too should get that color. And if you want to give some separate color to the inner lobes of the ear that you can do also go to the edit mode but let me ignore that that will increase the video like length now what we have to do we have to add the mouth for that just click a curves and look for the circle over here circle exit the edit mode now you have to rotate this thing on the x-axis because you see it's flat or x90 then scale it down that is okay then grab on the z-axis to bring it at the top i think we need to do the grab on y-axis where is the where is the thing that i added now press uh, z4 now we can see look at that circle okay i will just command z okay now z6 scale it down grab it on y axis grab it on z axis grab it on y axis one then scale it down now go to the edit mode now you have the these control handles grab on the z axis you see you have a mouth shape very nice go to this view this is white now you see it is not attached to the body of the character what we have to do 
we have to apply a modifier before that let's bring it down that modifier is shrink wrap it should be target normal then click on this thing and press on this now give it some offset that will be too much and you see it is attached now we have to make the eyes we are going to apply a plane rx90 rotate it at 90 degrees scale it down grab it on z axis at the top grab it on y axis okay now give it the same modifier that is the subdivision surface make it 2 and you can apply no problem <coughs> scale it down on the x axis scale it down on the z axis let's make some bigger eyes is that enough i think that will be huge maybe make it a bit smaller that's why what do we have to do now again apply that same modifier i can just copy the modifier but i want to show you how it is done shrink wrap target normal then this okay you see it's getting hidden just why you see there's a problem why because this is too far off the target bring it closer like this now you apply it and give it you see it's looking nice now you can grab it on the z-axis and it will follow the geometry grab it on x-axis then duplicate it shift d grab on x-axis and they are lovely now you can give them a color i'm going to go with the white is fine you can change the color that color is this is the secondary thing that is not a problem grab it on z-axis do you see the things are following the geometry the curves of the things so this is how you make a lovely character in the blender this is how the modeling is done i have not done the sculpting at all sculpting is very tempting but believe me sculpting will make your renders very heavy so do not go for that always look for the modeling modeling is best i'm going to do okay so that's it so how you got the idea how it's done